We have rejoined the Canadian Invitational Auto Slalom Series. We have uh, this is the second, Joe Ullman. the second of the two Corvettes involved in the series today. It looks like a uh, 73 or 4 Corvette. It is. Uh, Joe Ullman is the driver from Mississauga. He's a seasoned competitor, been around for years, competes in uh, solo in Ontario as well as in the northern United States and in pro solo. He missed the uh, first two runs, but watch this guy go because this is all out driving, no stopping. That's Heavy. right. Joe is, uh, is a real showman and he's an excellent driver. Uh, Very I think smooth. he gets his showmanship from, uh, from his part-time occupation. He's, uh, member of the Toronto Stunt Drivers Association. I see. Oh dear, he's, he's had that a, corner up. He's had a bad run, but um, I will say that I've seen his earlier runs and he is outstanding. You notice on that car, it's an early 70s Corvette, but it's got the brand new Corvette wheels, rims, and tires on there. So he's adapted the newer, uh, more advanced rubber and... Yeah. Joe is sponsored by uh, Goodyear. So he gets their uh, latest tires. And uh, that's a that shame. was a shame that uh, he messed that run because uh, yeah, an that's, excellent that's not a, a normal uh, run for Joe. If you have a look at this car, as it goes through the far end there, around the left, you see as it comes towards you, the carburetor sticking out the top of the hood. You see the two of them right there. Yeah, he's running... Uh, a downdraft Weber carburetor. He's got a lot of modifications to that Mini Cooper S motor. And Ooh. he's spun out right in front of us here. Right below us here, he was very close to the cement wall. He'll complete the rest of the course. And would some of these cars not be running on High octane gas or regular gasoline. It smells He's like. He's running a racing fuel. You can yeah. smell it as he drives. Do they call it the Castrol R Mini. fuel? I'm not sure what brand he's running, but it's along that line. Uh, and it's a uh, high, high alcohol. octane. Yeah. Really like those barriers. Might it's even almost... have a blend of a uh, few other chemicals in it to make it burn faster. Yeah. Sounds loud and proud, anyway. Well, next up is uh, David Lai. He is uh, leading the class I run in, class B1. Let's see if he can get any faster than he did already today in his Toyota MR2. This is a mid-engine car, and uh, I think this is the only mid-engine car we've seen today. I believe it, it is. Okay, we've seen some rear engine Porsches. The uh, Honda Man car is a rear engine car. This engine is mid engine. It is the same car, uh, that, pardon me, the same motor that is in the Toyota Corolla uh, GTS. Yes, the Twin Cam 1600. Anything. Now, it's coming in, it looks like a smooth run. David is uh, from Toronto, and that is his final run for the day. We're getting down to the last few cars here. There's a teammate. It's a Honda Firestone Bell Cellular sponsored car, Honda CRX. Jim Dettler from London. Novice driver. Yes, he is. This is the He's first year involved. Uh, he got through involved in the sport through his company sponsorship, Bell Cellular of the series. And uh, came out to one event and said, geez, this would be really fun to try. So we put him in the second of the uh, team cars. Jimmy D's been pretty consistent all day long. These cars have been driving around for the last couple of weeks. I've seen them, and it's kind of a billboard for the event. He's it only is. started all a small competition this year. No faults in this run. A little wide there. That cost him time getting into the finish box for a clean run. Bill Campbell. And an older Honda Civic. Uh, Bill Campbell from Aylmer. 
This is an old, older style Honda Civic running the 1300 cc engine. And uh, we mentioned earlier the modifications Bill lists as heart transplants. Yes, he's uh, not had very good luck this year with motors. I believe this is the third motor he's had in the car. You obviously have to be dedicated to to spend that kind of money and effort to rebuilding and installing the motors in these cars. I think about 25 cents a piece. Do most of the drivers work on the cars themselves? Yes, they do. Uh, it's the cheapest way, of course, to uh, do the work yourself. But uh, most of the people involved are, are generally car enthusiasts to begin with, and uh, preparing and running a car is all part of the hobby. We have here another Porsche 924 Turbo, I believe this one is. 924S. From Saint Steve, Steve Jones from St. Catharines. St. Catharines, yeah. Driving the Performance Cars Porsche. That is a Porsche on the course, of course. Also sponsored by Competition Tire Canada. And a couple years ago, he was in another exotic car, a Lotus. A Lotus 7. Steve Jones. And the course. 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 And it's, uh, For a car that size, he's doing a good job of driving it through the course. A lot of people are attracted to these Mr. kinds of events because they get to see the Porsches and the, uh, the exotic cars going through. We actually had yesterday scheduled an exotic car parade what, that got rained out and we had Ferraris and Lamborghinis and everything else lined yes, up. But was, uh, 20 to 30 cars were scheduled to appear and due to the rain uh, that event had to be postponed which was uh, canceled. And we had all kinds of exotic cars. Last year we had all kinds of Ferraris and, all, and the likes right here. Back again is the Volvo GLT, sponsored by Rush Check out of North York, Toronto. Rush Check, uh, an oil base spray that goes on your car that uh, helps protect it from, from rusting. It's Victor Del Cole driving. He's a member of the Oshawa Motorsport Club, been competing for four years. And in 1985, he was the Toronto Autosport Club solo champion. And when he's not wheeling around a solo course, he can be found scuba diving. Smooth run for Victor. Clean runs, that's what you're noticing. The last runs are the cleanest and the fastest. Yeah. This is David Cook from Scarborough driving his Honda Michelin road race car. This is an incredible margin to shave from your time. Ladies and gentlemen, this sport. David is a systems coordinator for Canada Trust seconds. Real Estate. He is also the current rookie in Honda Michelin National Race Series. Uh, he's also the 1986 and the 85 National uh, Finest Young Drivers of Canada. Finalist, pardon yeah, me, in the young drivers of Canada. Canada. Texaco Sonic. Cup Rally. Which is a rally in Toronto that uh, students of the young drivers course can take part in. And they actually win a Honda. Yes, they win a new car in that event. That could be it right there. That was a, yeah, that could be the car he won. This is an interesting car. This is Jeff Gallagher from London driving his uh, GRC Formula 4. It's powered by a 521cc Bombardier Rotax snowmobile engine. This is a completely home-built car, and he is the on it. He's had fabulous time so far today. Oh, a little bit snaky going through the corner. Oh, and he's gone off course. 
That's too bad. That's bad luck. Got a pylon trapped under the left front wheel. And he carried the pylon right into the finish box. And that about well, wraps it up. We've seen some of the uh, finest amateurs throughout Ontario and even the northern United States coming here today to take part in the Canadian Invitational Auto Slalom Series. Uh, I'd like to thank my co-hosts, Tony and Neil, for helping me out today and uh, helping me figure out exactly what the sport is all about. And hopefully we've inspired a few people to maybe get involved in the, uh, in the event. Uh, the only requirements you need to get involved uh, is a driver's license, uh, seat belt, helmet, uh, and have your car safety, and, and that's about it. Also, you have to have all the safety features that most cars would come with. Once again, we'll give you the telephone number here quickly. Larry, Larry Cost. Larry Cost. You can call him at area code 519 439 7813, and here he will get you set up.